as, as a young Moroccan, I graduated, uh, I graduated the baccalaureate here. I took uh, the, the challenge to uh, build a new life in, in the U.S. I started from, from the bottom. I worked every, every, every retail job that you could take off. And um, after that, I, uh, I decided to, uh, to join the U.S. military in, in specific, where I, I built a great career. I was able to, to attend college. Uh, while I was serving in, in the army, and uh, after a long career in the, in the U.S. military, I came out to the uh, to to the business world, to corporate America, where I was able also to start from the bottom in the corporate America and uh, build a uh, a good career that allowed me to understand how the business world works. And uh, after I felt that I had enough experience. I won and I opened my first company back in 2010, where I failed uh, dramatically oh. after a year and a half, and that's good. Uh, and I went back to work in corporate America, and then when I felt that I was ready to start another venture as a business executive, I, I took the chance, and uh, today we, we, we are very successful. We are a $60 million uh, company. We operate in more than, than, than 13 countries, 14 countries. The horizon looks wonderful for us. Absolutely. Uh, business has been in my blood since I was, since I was uh, six years old. You know, I've had little, I've had little ventures. I sold uh, goods while I was in Morocco. I went to work for my father when I was 13, 14 years old um, in, in his factory. And, and when I went to the, to the U.S., I've sold, I've sold cars, I've sold, so business was in my blood. But building an organization is a serious business, you know, business, building an organization that, that, that employs now about 1,300 around the world and, and, and with the potential of going to 10,000 in the next 10 years, it's a, it's a job that requires different skills every six months. My first failure was because I thought I know it all. That was my problem. That I wanted to be the, 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 the salesperson, I wanted to be the finance, I wanted to be HR, I wanted to be... When I failed, I have came to an agreement with myself that I can be everything. So what I did different is I built a team of specialists, of subject matter experts. So we have a CFO, I listen to my CFO. CFO is the chief financial officer. We have a CEO, chief operating officer, that is in charge of operations. I listen to my CEO. And my job is to really keep that team going and giving them the vision on what we want to build and how we want to build it. And the team that I have are the key to my success. So working by yourself, might help you the first couple of months, but after that, you have to build a team that is going to help you get to you achieve your goals. So, as I said before, Morocco represents the new the new world of business. You know, I look at it; it's it's a great it's great atmosphere, great stability. Uh, where um, a lot of, I see a lot of American companies where I have spoken to many CEOs, many presidents of, of large groups in, in the U.S. about my experience here, about our group experience here. And everybody is very, very, very happy to hear that and very curious to understand how, how they can set up their back offices here. As we have, we have countries in, in Asia that have done this transition about 20 years ago. Uh, and we, I feel that Morocco can be the next in line to really attract American companies to come here because the infrastructure, I have uh, my team in the US, some folks, fly from D.C., some folks fly from, from Miami, six hours, seven hours later, they're here in, in, in Casablanca. As soon as you get to Casablanca, there's trains connected everywhere to the kingdom. If you want to, I mean, the, the country is connected. The greatest thing about it is just we're seeing progress. Progress is happening not by the by year, not by, 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 by month, but actually by the hour. So I see Morocco is heading in the, in the right sense, in the right path to becoming a, a, a really a, a good destination for businesses to come in and settle here. Now, the education, especially the higher education, 
we, we are facing a, a challenge, definitely we are facing a challenge, where the new graduates that we get, folks that graduate with their master's degree, they mostly academia, they have now have the skills to hit the ground running while you put them in a position. I've had several conversations where I've, I've told I've told people that are in charge of schools here, higher education schools, where I said, folks, we would love to get in partnership with these folks where we can help the Moroccan youth uh, instead of instead of instead of having just classroom time, they need to have field time. The far loop, we do put interns into the real test. We do test them with the real tasks. We do put them into the real projects so they can feel what it's like to use the skills that they have learned for a long time in their school. Yeah. Absolutely. As, a, as, a, as I told many of the Moroccan government officials in Marrakesh, Morocco is becoming a great platform. All we have to do is much better communication. We communicate in French, we communicate in Arabic, but we're not communicating in English. English, as if we want to attract American companies, if we want to attract the English-speaking companies, then we need to communicate in their language. You know, we need to facilitate their uh, the, the knowledge that they need to know to come here to Morocco in English. Because I can assure you, in the thousands, maybe the, the hundreds of thousands of, of, of business folks that I know, none of them speak French. The Americans, they speak English. They want the information in English. They would like to see it in English. Um, Morocco now is doing a great job. The, the new administration that is in place, they really started some good programs that I think they will they will get the information to the right folks, to the right decision makers in the business world, in the private world, in the United States to attract them to come over here. But I believe English is the uh, is the way to communicate with the American companies that we want to bring here. Mm -hmm. Morocco is like a field that has not been, been been cultivated yet, you know, and there is a, a lot of avenues for the youth Moroccans uh, to enter into the entrepreneurial world. I had a conversation with uh, with a minister about one of the programs in Talaqa. Uh, you know, this is a really good 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 project that the youth uh, that, that the Moroccan entrepreneurs can take advantage of and really do the right thing and work very hard. To, to to build the business for the, for themselves, so yeah. so so it is a great platform. If you mind how to work in an entrepreneurial way, you know, very, very good question. I, I was very glad that, to hear to hear His Majesty speak about foreign investment in the in the government's role to 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 facilitate our journey here in Morocco. And, and when you see the top uh, the top leader of, of of the country gives great attention in, the, in his speech. It makes me feel really, really happy. It, it, it encourages us to put more efforts in creating more jobs here. We um, we signed an agreement with the ministry, with several ministries in here in Morocco, to create 3,000 jobs in the next uh, in the next three to four years. Our goal in the next 10 years to have a at least about between 7,000 and 10,000 jobs. When I say 10,000, 7 to 10,000 jobs means this is positions that they will, uh, we will employ uh, master's degree holders, we will employ bachelor's degree holders, but they need to speak English. That's the goal. I'm not, we're not interested in creating uh, a low paying job. We're interested in creating mid-level to senior level paying positions, training the workforce to be able to operate on platforms that are worldwide, so uh, so that's what we're hoping for. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. How many cities in the world that you get to see the Atlantic and the Mediterranean at the same time? It's only Tangier, correct? Yes. So that's why I was fascinated with the, the, the geolocation of Tangier. And number two, uh, you have to start somewhere, okay? And I felt that Tangier was welcoming us. The human capital that we found here was tremendous. So actually, Tangier has that luxury, where it is a small city, but it is a large city. So so everybody knows everybody, but at the same time, there is a lot of good uh, there is a lot of good human capital that we can recruit from to support our teams, uh, SPUs in the US.